Hello, my name is Jacob Russell for the Lone Star Conference. I'm here with women's basketball coach Tom Webb. Good morning. Good morning, sir. How are you? Good. Good. Uh, we're going to go ahead and jump in and do a preview for this upcoming basketball season, so we can go ahead and just get right into it. What are okay. your expectations for this upcoming season? Well, certainly with this group being our fourth year, uh, we want to make the conference tournament number one. Number two, we want to compete for a conference championship, and our league is very, very difficult, and there's a ton of quality teams, um, but I think it should be a good, fun, exciting year. What kind of changes or improvements have you seen throughout your team in the offseason? I know you don't get to deal with them much, but yeah. is there anything? I think hopefully we become more physical. Hopefully we become physically stronger. Uh, we have 10 returners, which will help us a ton. Uh, System-wise, they should know the system. Style of play, they should know the style of play. League, league travel, those things. But we have to become more physical. We have to be better on the glass, and we have to be better defensively. And with 10 returners, let's talk about that a little bit. Who are you kind of counting on, and, and who do you know you can count on for some support and leadership? Well, we returned three starters, really, with uh, Nicole Pendarvis at the point, and then uh, Alexis Williams at the two, and then uh, Sibyl Diata kind of at the four or five. And, and then we have a couple kids that freshman last year that played a lot and started a lot for us. You know, I think both Sibyl and Alexis have to do a great job, but at the same time, Nicole has to do a, have a great job at the point and, and be able to handle the basketball and be able to push it and do some things. And, and what's, area, what's one area of focus that the team really needs to, to hone in on to be successful this season? Uh, I would say mental toughness. We have to get tougher. This league is so difficult, and, and I think we have to just continually grind. It's a long league. It's 20 games. We've never been through a 20-game schedule before, nor has anyone else in this league. And so you can't drop one in the middle of December and expect to pick it back up in, in, right. you know, in February mm -hmm. or, or late January. And so you, you really have to hone in every night. And so mental toughness is going to be a big deal. And talking about the 20-game schedules and everything, do you think it's going to be more critical to have a strong offense or a strong defense heading into that? And what do you think can carry you through that? Uh, you know, I, I really have no idea. Uh, I know traditionally you have to be able to defend and rebound in this league, but you also have to score. And mm -hmm. uh, there's going to be nights maybe that you're you're not shooting the ball well because you're physically tired, so you have to be able to defend and rebound, and those are going to be two huge keys. And you can't give up an easy basket and you can't have any mental lapses, so hopefully we can do those things. And, you know, the Lone Star Conference has always been a tough conference. Now, what do you get as a team out of playing in the Lone Star Conference? Well, number one, I think you get a uh, tradition of excellence. I think it's a national um, conference. You know, everyone around the nation knows about the Lone Star and, and knows about the tradition. Women's basketball is excellent in, in the Lone Star. And so, for us, that's the positive of playing in a tough league. Top to bottom, there's not a night you can't go out and go, well, we should be fine. you got to play every night, and if you don't, you'll get waxed. I know you just touched on the tradition of the league. Another tradition of the Lone Star Conference is community involvement mm -hmm. by its student athletes and by its teams. Now, what are some of the things you guys do on, on the women's basketball team to be involved in the community and be a spotlight? Right. Well, we do a lot of things throughout the community. Uh, we read to two elementary schools. We go out to an after-school program and help them with their homework and, and activities, etc. We also work at a couple different pancake feeds. But um, And then Aggie Madness, we incorporate those people who come in and, pl and hang out with our kids a little bit and do some things. So we try to get out in the schools as much as possible. And, and as you know, Cameron in itself does over 3,000 community you know, right. service hours throughout the whole year, so it gets to be a lot of work. And I know you mentioned a couple of things you guys do are, are going into the elementary schools and, and helping to lead them. Obviously, you guys place a great deal on academic success. Can you touch on the academic success in your program and, and where that ranks as far as necessity? Well, probably number one. Uh, you know, a lot of our young ladies, after they're done playing here, are going to go to the workforce. And uh, last year, good example is we had ac uh, academic All-American Josie Stewart. And that's our first one since I've been here. But we have kids that have improved a ton academically. And academic excellence is number one, and, and that's important. And hopefully that um, discipline off the floor will also carry on on the floor and vice versa. Yeah, and as far as discipline goes, that kind of falls into another area of the organizational values the Lone Star Conference is really pushing, um, respect and commitment. Yeah. How does your team show that, and, and how do you kind of define that within a program, the respect and commitment to the team, to the conference, and to the community? Well, I, I think, number one, you have to talk about it. Every day you have to talk about uh, commitment to excellence, commitment to uh, higher values, higher morals, doing those things, and, and, and in turn things like respect hopefully come out of that. Uh, you also have to show up by the way you do things, and, and we have to be better at that every day, and we have to demand that from each other, and I think you can hold each other accountable. But this league as a whole, I think, does a great job also showing that. Okay, well, I appreciate it, Coach, and good luck this season. Have a good one. All right, for the Lone Star Conference, I'm Jacob Brown.